Eddie Ray Routh is placed into a police car moments after authorities chased him down on a Texas highway. He's breathing heavy and teary-eyed. The officer asks if he's okay, and Routh says, I'm just so nervous about what's been happening in my life today. I don't know what's been happening. I've been so paranoid, schizophrenic all day. I don't know what to even think of the world right now. I don't know if I'm insane or sane. The judge isn't allowing courtroom audio to broadcast until after the trial ends. At times, Routh appears agitated in the video. He squirms around in the back seat. Other times, he rests his head with his eyes closed. People who know Routh, like Tim Zaraland, say the former Marine changed before the killings of Chris Kyle and Chad Littlefield. I did notice a change uh, several months before all this took place. Um, it's hard to describe exactly, but it, it just seemed like he, he was a little bit more jumpy. I got a woman and a kid 200 yards out moving towards the convoy. The legend of Chris Kyle was well established by the time he took Ralph to that countryside gun range. But Ralph seemed to be more frustrated and annoyed with the two men who were trying to help him. The small arsenal of weapons Chris Kyle brought to the range that day was shown to the jury, which included these five long rifles and several handguns, including one of Kyle's rifles labeled American Sniper. But according to defense attorneys, Ralph in his psychotic state thought he was walking into a showdown on that range. From inside the jail where Ralph has spent the last two years, he spoke with a writer from the New Yorker magazine three months after the shootings. Prosecutors played some of that conversation today. Ralph sounds annoyed at Kyle and Littlefield and says, so we're shooting pistols here, huh? Hmm, okay. Again, that's pretty much saying duel, mother. Later in the interview, he's asked what sparked the killings, and Ralph blames Chad Littlefield for not shooting with him. I was like, what the? Are you even doing here, man? This isn't a spectator sport. It's a shooting sport. You shoot. And that's what got me all, you know, wired up. He also said, I took care of business, and then I got in the truck and left. As prosecutors said in their opening statements. I think the term used for folks like him is trouble. I think you'll hear testimony that this is a troubled young man. But prosecutors say this troubled man wasn't insane. They say these are the actions of a cold-blooded killer. Ed Levendera joins me now. So I understand the suspect's mother also testified today. What did she have to say? Anderson, she was one of the first witnesses that defense attorneys uh, called. Uh, she talked about uh, incidents that happened in the month before uh, the killings. They're saying that at one point, Eddie Ray Routh had held his girlfriend and her roommate at Knife Point. Also talked about how she had begged the, the VA hospital to keep him in. He had been admitted for several days. She was begging the, uh, hosp the VA hospital in Dallas to keep him admitted. He was released just a few days before these killings happened. And she also talked about the cocktail of psychological medications he'd been taking that at one point, he was taking nine different medications.